It's your boy here, or it's your host here, New Killer. Welcome back to the Killing It podcast. Well, we talk about the randomest things. I only got a co-host in this episode. I'm hoping to have a new co-host coming, or I'm hoping to have a, my co-host in soon. At some point, uh, I think she's gonna be in episode three or episode two. This is the gonna be the very first episode. Uh, first episode that was uploaded is going to get deleted because yeah it was just a test for me to see how it gets or just see how it all works see how everything all uploaded works it turns out it goes right out to all these platforms you can see all those platforms um if you go to anchor.fm forward slash i don't exactly know the link off the top of my head i think it's forward slash Noob Killer, if I'm not wrong, I think that is it. If not, I will. I'll try to leave it in the notes to the podcast. Uh, you can also check out some of the gaming content on Noob Killer's YouTube channel. Link is in the notes as well. Also, Mr. Diamond Minds, why uh, Noob Killer, it, or Mr. Diamond Minds YouTube is actually there as well. And uh, I hope. Uh, I really do like um, how this setup is that I I do these podcasts on, which is basically probably the best setup that I can do Um, in general. uh, It's probably like one of the best setups I can do, and um, I'm hoping to do do it more often type of thing, more um, into it, uh, hopefully... I can have it all work better than any other episode. Um, it'd be so much better if I had a co-host because he could just ramble on on just random things, and actually, well, we we could have like a full on conversation between me and him type of thing instead of me talking basically to myself. Uh, I, I like to do that anyways, but. Um, let's just start out with the first game. This game I play, personally, uh, I, I play on my own. I got, I'm looking at my Steam stats right now on it, and I got almost a thousand hours on this game that I play. To be exact, it is 937 hours. Yeah, that's a lot. I, like, play this game nonstop. It's, like, the only game ever since it came out, I play it. Um, we are going to go ahead and actually go and look at the page itself for it, and I'll try to leave all the games that we talk about in this episode's description if I can figure out how to do that. I haven't figured out that far yet. Uh, I haven't figured that out that far yet. I am going to go ahead and go to... Go to the DLCs and look at some of the DLCs. Uh, I only have two DLCs in my thing right now. The new DLC that just came out today, uh, came out today, November 12th, uh, 2020, um, was the airplane farming expansion for Farming Simulator 19. And that one just came out today. It just came out literally two days as I'm speaking. I'm not sure exactly what time uh, what time it came out, but it did come out today at some point. Um, that is like the newest one that came out. Uh, then we have the Curver- Curvin and uh, Vid uh, Vinekind. DLC, and yes, I know I pronounced it wrong. That came out a while ago. It's $14.99 on, well, it might vary in different places, but it did come out. Um, that one has some new stuff that did come out. Let me go to the Alpine DLC, the one that just came out today. Uh... I'm going to go run you guys through some of the stuff that it says on there. Alpine DLC. It's $19.99, 20, basically $20. 20 US, 20 
USD, um, it's probably, obviously, it will vary. Currency would keep vary in different places. Uh, that one came out today. And what this pack... What this pack... What's in this pack is what I should say. Is... Um... I don't see it. But a lot of people do recommend this. Um, I'm basically just going to read some of the comments that people recommend recommend this DLC. There's a lot of not recommendation. Or not, they don't recommend it. But I'm going to go through and just read the recommended ones. Um, some of them. Short clip uh, snippets of them. Um, if you guys want to read more on it. I'll try to leave it obviously in the description of this episode um and by this one person named uh sky uh quite good but certainly overpriced uh i especially like it like the detail details built in the new machines which obviously basically saying it, it, it's good i do agree with the overpriced part uh, I will agree on the overpriced part, just for the bundle, for a bundle itself, basically, which I don't have the bundle, I don't, no, I don't have the bundle part, uh, I, I have the game, I just don't have any of the bundles, uh, it's like literally 20 bucks, like, who wants to spend 20 bucks on a game, or a think for a game is what I should say, honestly, yeah, I do agree with Sky on that, it is way overpriced, um, and I'm just going to go through and say yes to some of these as well while we are talking, because, or while I'm talking. Uh, we got this other person, uh, C. Black. He uh, said, best expansion ever, uh, amazing landscape. I love the Switzerland and Apply, Applies, uh, nice vehicles, and mainly the electric tractor, uh, the grass, grass-fed beef, anyone. Whatever that means, I don't know. Uh, there is a new tractor in here. Uh, electric tractor, which by the sounds, everybody's liking that one. Um, by by the looks of it. Uh, this one dude recommends it. Uh, he said it's Farming Civil 19 in the ALPs uh, a L P S, whatever that stands for. I think it stands for something, but I don't totally know. Um, what it what is not to like? Um, it's a little woody. I know, obviously, obviously. Um, you guys could go through and read read all these if you guys want some of them. Uh, This dude, a lot of these guys, honestly, don't like it, don't recommend it. Uh, it, honestly, some of these rec not recommended are usually, probably people that just bought it today. Yeah, actually, <laughs> some of these were posted today, to be exact. Um, I don't think it shows anything before it was posted. Or after it was posted, I don't completely assure. Um, I, I will agree on a lot of these guys with the over, saying it's overpriced. Um, this other dude, or this or not other dude, but this other person who recommends recommends it, and he's like, "What I have been waiting for uh, for so long. I like the map and the new Ridgy tractor as well." Um, as the mowers and the comeback of the Buher, I know I pronounced that wrong, I think it should be a medium tractor due to its size. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. That dude honestly recommends it. 
I would agree with him. Now this long one. This one is going to be probably take me 45 minutes to get through. Um, uh, just a real quick early impression review based on things I always look at. I haven't actually farmed in this map yet. I just drove around and scouted out the situation. Um, first of all, the map is very pretty. It seems to be well optimized. I have over 300 mods running, and I, I'm i using a laptop, obviously. He said it's a very good one he's using. I, I physically play this game on a laptop, too. It's not the best one, but I, I it runs it, surprisingly. Uh, I didn't see it drop below 50, 60 FPS. I think I get my game at about maybe 30 FPS or so. Uh, other than the usual thing of a few frames on here and there, he usually, by the sounds, he drops it a little bit here and there. But other than that, he's saying it's basically pretty good. Um, I really like how the map is laid out. It is very easy to get from one place to another. The fields are this uh, are all smallish to very small, but many are placed placed in the way that you could easily combine several fields to make bigger ones if that's the way you like to play. The overwhelming overwhelming ma majorly of fields are completely flat and many are perfectly perfect rectangles making for easy farming. However, doesn't dis despair if you like your farming a bit rougher. Um Obviously, I'm going to say get this DLC just by the reviews I'm looking at. I'm going to say get it if you guys play this game. If if none of you guys do that, listen to the podcast. Don't worry about it. I would recommend getting the game um, and stuff like that. Uh, long, large swaths of the map uh, are in the hills, mountains, and have no pre fied fields. Some of these... Areas are quite too large, but they but are pretty inexpensive to purchase. Um, obviously, land and all that. Um, they are they are big enough that you can create some very interesting fields to farm, and some of the plots could provide quite a challenge if. You focus yourself to start with nothing, but those this method of playing where you have to create fields and such can be very enjoyable. As I find found out from playing the No Man's Land map, which I personally haven't played that yet. I plan on doing it. Um, there are a variety. Various plots that come complete with areas where you can build out out your favorite mod buildings. Heck, some of the fields are so flat and small you can just buy an extra field and build there if you want it. Uh, as for the machinery, I'm really going to have to to have to have some time to have some time. Yeah, that's that's not me saying it. That's exactly what this person wrote. with it to be able to be able to judge it with all the mods. I'm using. I can't really say say there was any anything lacking. Most of the implements are designed for small fields. The forage wagons look nice. I already had the mo had the mowing stuff in 
a mod. Uh, the Unitrack tractor looks the most promising to me, but I haven't used it yet. Me personally, I haven't used it. I don't even have this DLC, and I plan on getting this DLC. Um, so I can't really say. Uh, I really do plan on getting this DLC. I would recommend, yeah, yeah I just get this DLC if you guys play the game. If you guys don't play the game, I really highly recommend getting this game, and we will obviously talk about all, a lot of other games, first-person shooters and all that. This is on Steam. I will put the direct link to Steam in this uh, in the notes in this episode, if I can. Um, there's one last paragraph, and we can just rant about this DLC all day, or all night, if you want. Anyway, just wanted to put a little in- info out there. I, I'll i add more as I see, as I play the map and use the equipment. So far, I like what I'm seeing. That's just one of the new, this is literally one of the newer DLCs. He, this dude just posted it today at some point um there's another dlc i would like to check out um let me find, oh hey no here are the dlcs for this game the dlc uh, the dlcs i want i want to get the like the john dio kind dlc the platinum version of fs19 and then the season pass which should be fun um, now we're going to move on to, these are just going to be the games in my inventory for this episode, since it's just me, and I will, we will talk about some mobile games at, an, uh, at a later date. Let me go ahead and pull up my library, not inventory, my library, um, Obviously, if you guys have Steam, which probably a lot of you gamers do have Steam, I recommend, if you guys don't have it, I recommend getting it. Um, there's this one, these are mainly software, or not software stuff, but uh, I forgot what, I think they called tools on uh, Steam. And Borderless Gaming is one of the things I have. Which I kind of do like this. I physically have it. Actually, I have it installed right now. Um, and I'm using it. I don't use it. right. I'm not using it right now. But I plan on using it. It really, to be honest, with the borderless. And then it will take your, before. it basically takes the window part out of it. It'll make it look a whole lot crisp and a lot cleaner. Um, with literally everything. Um... I don't think there's any other, like, things. I've already bought this, and it's actually kind of cool. There is one downloadable content for this. That's what DLC obviously means. Downloadable content. I don't think... There's a lot of different apps that are like this. They got, like, Movie uh, Matter, a video editor. They have a lot of games, that, or a lot of software that's like it. Um, there's another one that I use, which is called, uh, transparent taskbar, which is transparent, it basically turns your taskbar so you can't, so you can see right through it type of thing. If you get what I put, what, if you get what I'm putting down. Um, and this probably is like the best thing. Um, actually, let's check out this other game real quick. This is mainly about games, not or software or anything but if you guys want some software obviously just do a review and say and, and let me know what you guys want to see or want me and my co-host to talk about which he's not here today um there's a lot of different dlcs that came out for this game that i personally don't have um and i can easily get probably for cheap there's 106 dollars for just dlc sale I try to go with all the free DLCs that I can, um, but that I didn't get. Um, this one game is called um, American Truck Sim or ATS, not Sim, American Truck Sim later or ATS or American Truck Sim. If you guys watch some YouTubers that play this, obviously that is 
about what it would be. We got 10 minutes left of this episode, so I just want to hurry up, make a, some, do some quick things, which some of these guys do have. Um, I'm just going to read up some of the quick ones. Some of the quick reviews. This dude is from 810. Uh, don't know what year. I'm guessing it's this year. Oh, the, oh, no, not you. Uh, it, it's what he rates it. Um, the uh, PC Gamer rated it 8 out of 10. It's a fun, dimensional, and all good game with way, way in. A deep simulation and higher production values than most sims, which, honestly, I'm going to say, these guys, I'm pretty sure use Unity, or, yeah, Unity to make this. Um, it might be a different, I'm not exactly t- completely sure on what it uses for it, but I, I know it uses in, uh, I think something like that. Um, we got... I'm not even going to try to pronounce this username, or I'm not even going to try to pronounce this username. Uh, it's going to be 8.5. He rates it 8.5 out of 10, which honestly, these are pretty good ratings, to be honest. Um, listening to Eric Clapton's while uh, wonderful tonight while driving a big rig at night into Las Vegas, which is a Nevada. I think that's the Nevada DLC. It mainly is just based out of one, a few different states at a time that the game is. Um, into Las Vegas is something that will stick with me probably forever. Um, honestly, 8 out of 10 for that review is probably the best. Uh, this next one is not 8 out of 10, 8.5 out of 10. This next one is 8.5 out of 10 as well by 4Bs. Um, and basically, this this person states, I'm impressed with the amount of detail and beauty, beauty that, that's that been in, injected into these virtual uh, environments, which... This this game have I have so much detail on game. Literally a lot of this probably has it in there. Uh, there's a lot of DLCs out for it. Like so many DLCs for it. Um and this this company that makes it is called S SCS Software. They make so much like, I mean, a lot of different things. They, uh, it supports up to 20, it supports up to 24 languages, uh, just the interface of it. Uh, the audio and subtitles, I don't know about. It's not saying on this part about it. Um, obviously, this is a game that's been out probably, I think, for years now. I think it's been out for a while now, and I mean, it's been out for years. Um... And I think I'm going to wrap this episode up right here. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoy uh, enjoy this first official episode of Killing It. And obviously, I will be hopefully hopefully having my co-host here for the next episode, if possible. And um, this is your host, Noob Killer, and I will see you guys in the next episode.